Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, where you're watching me from. This is again your brother, your friend, Daniel Tlebaratibi, the author of the books Overcome Rejection. Art of Dating and Courtship. Broke by Choice. Hope in the Age of Depression. And the founder of Voice of Restoration International Limited, uh, where we exclusively handle issues around mental health and sexual support. And we're based here in West Nile, Arua City. Uh, today, we want to talk about two things. We want to talk about money in relation to mental health. Money and mental health is our subject today. Because we know that money plays a very big role as far as mental health is concerned. Um, first of all, I want to come from a place of the lack of money triggers any broke. That's why any broke person is an angry person. Any broke person is an angry person. Why? There is a connection between money and mental health in one way or the other. So I want to dive into these issues. And... Um, Talking about the book Broke by Choice, like I said it earlier here, I'm not in any way saying somebody is broke by their choice. Yes, it is true, but I'm not trying to laugh at anybody, but I'm trying to share my own experience, of my own lived experiences and my own journey. You know, first of all, I've been broken, broken, as I've always said it here many times. And this lack of money, not necessarily... Uh, lack of money where you don't have it, but also when you lose the source of that livelihood, which comes through in form of money at the end of a month, maybe you've lost a job, you know, and then the money is affected. Maybe you've lost this money in a business. Maybe you've lost some money somewhere, somehow. All of these issues affect mental health in one way or the other. So that's why I want to bring out these two. And there are so many types of mental illnesses that we talk about particularly when it comes to money, the first place money does in relation to mental health is it affects your mental health in the following ways. Number one, stress. Many people get stress disorders because of money-related challenges. Because, you know, what happens is when money is limited or when money is lost or money is scarce or there is a scarcity and there is a lack in that the first thing that comes through is a stress. And this is stress leads to uh, another thing. You know, stress and anxiety are cousins. Now, when anxiety comes in, it is something else. Now, through anxiety, you can't sleep well, you can't do anything well, you are having racing thoughts, you are, you, are, you are in two panic moods, you are panicking, you are not sure what will happen tomorrow, you are worried about everything around you. Now, what happens next when anxiety sets in combined with the stress? Depression sets in. That's why, now, if you go to the Bible and you check New King James, Proverbs 12.25, it says, Anxiety in the heart of man causes depression, but a good word makes it glad. Anxiety and depression, they move together. Now, when depression sets in, you can't know what is happening next that explains why there are so many cases of suicide of late that explains why there are so many things that happen through that explains why so many things are falling apart and how will you know because this is where i want to just dive how do you know that somebody has a challenge that's why we need to support them number one if you understand or you know a friend or maybe yourself or you know a friend, a workmate, somebody you're working with, a neighbor, and all of a sudden, there has been increased absence from work, social routines, and so on. There is a challenge. Engage immediately. Number two, if there is isolation and secretive behavior, somebody isolates themselves, they don't want people, they live alone and all that, there is a challenge that needs to be engaged. If there is a sudden changes in appetite, and sleep. Sleep refuses, issues, things begin to fall apart. Please support them immediately and engage. 
if you see unusual or increased irritability, somebody is angry, something small irritates them, there is a challenge. If there is increased financial problems and or unexplained need for money, there is a challenge, engage, support. If there are severe mood swings, please support and engage. If there are un unexplained changes in behavior, somebody who has never been drinking all of a sudden is drinking. Somebody who has never been into this is all, all of a sudden doing some funny things. Please support them and engage them immediately. Support them, support them, support them. Support them. So you can support them in various ways, but above all, number one, I want to talk about the angle of treatment. Treatment is available. There's a treatment for every mental illness. Treatment is available. Somebody can actually receive treatment and they can be better, they can recover. Recovery is possible. But the challenge with the recovery is the stigma that comes. Stigma is the biggest thing. That's why many people don't seek for 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 treatment because of stigma fear of judgment but treatment is there support them let's engage number two let's see there are different uh things somebody can actually do there are natural uh, remedies apart from medications there are natural things that somebody needs to do for example it takes somebody back to get to a place where they rediscover themselves for example, you, there is a place where you are right now in. Which place is undesirable? You don't like that place because that place is full of pain, full of frustrations, full of everything around. But then there is a place you need to turn your dreams to. There is that place of your dream. You need to get there. How do you move there? Is where the rubber meets the road. That's where I challenge. Find people who can hold your hands. Find people you can relate with. You cannot do life alone because you're not an, an island. Engage with community. Engage with the people. Engage. So many challenges that can come through. But those challenges should not be able to define you. You are not those problems. That's why I always say that a problem is a problem, a person is a person. So no, but, so no person is a problem. That's why treatment can come through and somebody can actually bounce back big. Yes, things can happen, things can fall apart, but you're not supposed to be, remain where you are. That's why the Bible says a righteous man falls seven times, but he will always rise up again. You don't have to stay down, you have to rise up again. Help is available. Help is available, help is available. I want to repeat, help is available. We have lived experiences. Personally, I've lived all of this myself. You're not alone. You could be in a place where you're saying, oh, you don't know what I'm going through. I've been through this a lot. I've been broke because of the church that I made. I've felt here many times. 100% of my salary was taken for three and a half years. So I know what it means to be broke and broken. I know. I've been there myself. And here I am. You can bounce back. Things can still work out. You receive treatment, accept to receive treatment. Accept to know that you are in this place which is not good for you. Accept it. It begins from a place of acceptance. Once you accept that you need help, help will always be available. As long as we still live in denial, it becomes hard for us to get help. But today, I want to challenge wherever you are. You could be knowing somebody or you, you yourself, you need help. Accept that you need help, get treatment. Help is available. Get support. Improve yourself. Engage. Because one thing I, I always say is this. When it comes to mental illness, there are three things at play. Your body, your soul, and your spirit. And all this needs to be nourished. All this needs to be treated. That's why your body will need the medication. Your soul needs a counselor to talk to. Your soul needs a psychologist to be able to unpack through, um, through psychotherapy. But above all, your spiritual being needs the spiritual nourishment. So, all of this needs to be at play. But above all, help is available. So I want to challenge you this week. Reach out to somebody. Reach out to, to, to a friend. Reach out to a family member. Reach out to somebody. Reach out, reach out, reach out. And get the support you need. God bless you.